Aye bobo, aye bobo. Welcome to Bosu's Lair. Um, today, I would like to briefly discuss... Oh yes, this is part of my altar that you're looking at, by the way. So this is... Uh, these are my hot spirits, the Petro spirits, or at least some of them, that you see in the background. And yeah, I do have some work going on right there on the floor. Yeah, my basement has been kind of messy. Unfortunately, I've been so busy with uh, various spell works that organizing the limited space that I have down here has been a bit difficult. But today, what I would like to discuss is, um, you know, spell results. When can you expect to see results once you've uh, placed your order and once I've updated you to let you know that you spell, your spell has been cast? Um, first and foremost, uh, spells have their own timeline. Uh, I have seen a uh, couple of instances where uh, results were almost immediate, and I have seen other uh, witness. I have witnessed or and experienced other moments where it took a few months for the spell result to manifest. Um, in one case, I had reconciliation work done for someone. And finally, in the fourth month, this is when they reconnected and reconciled. Um, I've done work for a restaurant, a business, um, and it took about four months also uh, before things started turning around and uh, the uh, business owner um, started to make real profits. Um, and then there was this one time I, I made a video about somebody who ordered a money, a prosperity voodoo doll, uh, who combined a spell with some um, money drawing work. Uh, and then the person went to a casino and, you know, not even 24 hours after the work started and the person hit, um, um, made $600 in slots. Uh, and to this day, um, the individual has steady income. Uh, ever since I made that doll. Now, what do I mean by steady income? It doesn't mean like the person is drawing in massive amounts of money, but money has been flowing at a uh, predictable and steady pace. Um, so the rule of thumb is you give a spell at least a lunar cycle. Give a spell at least 30 days before you may start noticing uh, results. Uh, it may occur sooner, uh, but it may also happen later. Uh, I'm the type of uh, spiritual worker who refuses to give a uh, timeline. Uh, I think it's uh, foolish to say, well, you're going to see result in seven days exactly. Uh, the, now, there are some people that are very gifted and can give to, um, um, to the day some of their... Um, predictions in terms of when results are going to happen uh, and that depends on the kind of magic that they're using too but it is when you set that expectation and things don't happen when you say they will then you tend to have clients that are um, irritated angry and become impatient um, so you know I don't give I don't provide timelines for for these reasons but ex but give it at least a full lunar cycle now, sometimes, <clears throat> depending on the nature of the problem or the spell work, it may take longer. Um, if it's very complicated, you had a, a breakup or a split where you guys are not communicating at all, um, and, and there are barriers and other challenges, yeah, it's not going to be that simple. Uh, or you are trying to reconcile with someone that you haven't spoken to in two or three years, even five years, um, uh, first, you got to be realistic in terms of, of uh, it doesn't really make sense to invest in something like that. Uh, but if you do, um, you know, the, the energy must pull um, uh, the person in. And if the person has no contact, no real emotional attachment to you at this time, uh, then yes, it will take a little longer to, um, to manifest. Now, there are other things that may occur also um, during um, spell casting, right? Um, you may have instances where there's resistance to the work. Uh, if we're doing some work to influence somebody, a revenge spell or these type of things, 
you know, the other individual on the other end may have defenses. They may, if they're gifted, they may sense something. And so now we get into involved into a bit of a back and forth. Or sometimes, sometimes your own spirits, um, not even the other person, your own spirits may be opposed to the work. Um, for example, if you love somebody and the universe doesn't think that this person is right for you, uh, especially if we don't do readings uh, before the spell work begins, you know, there are other things that can throw a monkey wrench into uh, spell work. Uh, I also have to pay attention if I'm using candles uh, for certain spell work to see how the candles are burning. You know, I have to be able to read, uh, for example, if there are um, um, uh, sooth and, and other things on the glass and the candle that are present, this may uh, mean that there's resistance to the spell work and I have to find a way to work around it. Um, usually when there's resistance to spell work, I will do uh, what I can uh, to rectify the situation. Um, but if it is also spell work that requires multiple castings, well then at, in that, at that point you, you will have to pay for these extra castings as well, especially as it pertains to, uh, to court cases. Uh, because these have so many moving parts, you know, we can delay a case in court first, or we can have a, a case completely thrown out, or if it's a really complicated complicated case where you now have large juries involved and all of these things, uh, you may be talking about multiple castings uh, until you are scot-free or you, know, you get an outcome that is better for you. Um, so yes, there's recasting also for long-term um, spells. Now, I've also mentioned on my page, if you read uh, the page on, you know, your spells have been cast and then now what, there are some spells that do tend to manifest quickly. Um, you know, uh, Fast Luck is one of them. Uh, working with Saint Expedite tends to manifest quickly as well, depending on what you're asking for and how reasonable it is. Uh, but um, what I've observed, even for myself, if I do something like for Fast Luck, or you know fast cash yes the effects are very fast but they're also limited and tend to be um, short term um, so I'll have the luck come in I'll have the money come in and then boom it just stops um, and, and so you know just be aware of that um, I if it is something that is a little bit more long term like prosperity and so on and so forth then you know these results uh, come in uh, a little bit more slow, uh, but they tend to be a bit more enduring. They tend to last longer. Um, so there's that um, um, aspect um, as well. Uh, bottom line is when a spell has been cast on your behalf, uh, it's okay to check in with me to see how the spell is going. I would discourage you from checking in too frequently because this is a sign on your end of a lack of confidence or a lack of faith, in my opinion, that is. And these things can also um, start uh, slowing the spell work down because now you're getting in the way of the energy. It's like a water, and then you throw a piece of stone in a small stream, and then the water builds up and then finally finds its way around. But in the meanwhile, you've slowed down the process. Um, and um, have faith and be patient above all. I may have mentioned this again, but patience is super, super key. Uh, I want my clients to be satisfied and happy with the work that I do, but I also want you to be very realistic in terms of when to expect results and how to, and how these results will manifest. Uh, uh, and uh, you can read about this on my blog page in terms of how work, uh, manifests and um, and the things that you can do also to help with the spell work right um, if you know I'm, as I mentioned on my page if I'm doing something for love nothing says that you can't um, add your own prayers at home or set the right um, atmosphere burning some rose incense uh, burning some pink candles and doing little things to help push um, the spell because the truth is that we all have innate abilities within us some of us are a bit more gifted and can tap into it 
much more easily. Some of us have the help of spirits and so on and so forth. But, you know, all humans do have these latent spiritual um, abilities. Um, and you can help in the manifestation of the work if you do little things to help, you know, align the energies within your home and reinforce some of the stuff that I'm doing, particularly since, you know, a lot of the things that I do is at a distance. Uh, I'm on the East Coast, you may be on the West Coast, and I have clients that uh, are in different parts of the world. Um, yeah, and what you see down there is some work that's been done in a veve, which is a voodoo symbol for um, Ogu. Um, with that said, I wish you blessings. I wish you luck, good fortune, health, peace, all the good things in life that you have the right to have and that you should pursue. Um, and uh, we will chat again or I will make another mini video blog on another topic very soon. Blessings to you.